seen time and time again, online dating scams rarely have a happy ending, but our next guest seems to be an absolute exception. When Nicole Hayden started speaking to a handsome man on social media, things took a sinister turn as she discovered that she was being blackmailed by a fake profile. He looks like a Top Gun extra, doesn't he? Yeah, oh, look at yeah. That. Yeah, so imagine her surprise when months later she stumbled across the same man's photos, this time under the name Alessandro Cinquini. But in another unbelievable twist, after reaching out to him online, the pair ended up falling in love. And they're joining us now from Florida. Good morning to you both. What a story this is. But it didn't <laughs> start well. Can you take us back to the beginning? No, it didn't start out well. Um, it started back in October. I just replied to a DM that was on my Instagram, and it ended up being a profile that was a catfisher. And were you suspect straight away? Did you realise this was a, a catfish situation? Or obviously you answered to the, the messages, I would imagine. I didn't I didn't know straight away. It was not until about a week later that I started to catch on when he was getting really hot and heavy and telling me that he loved me and he wanted to marry me. And that's when I started to realize that something was wrong, that it was either a catfish profile or he was just coming on too aggressive too fast. Uh, things actually got quite sinister, though, didn't they? they he, he started threatening you and and your children, I believe. He did, but that wasn't until about a month later. After I had blocked them on Instagram, they found me on WhatsApp. So that wasn't until well after I had blocked him on Instagram that he started threatening me and the kids for money. Hang on, can I just ask a question? Because that sounds like a, a serious situation there. How can you get someone's phone details from Instagram? Is that possible or did you give the guy your phone details to, for him to contact you then on WhatsApp? I didn't. I. I didn't. I think it's just through a basic Google search. If you look up my name and Florida, you can find any information on people, their address, their voter registration, their phone number. I think that's how he figured it out. Wow, wow that scary. is scary. That is really scary. And uh, boy, were, you, were you scared? I mean, that is... You, you don't know this guy from Adam, really. I wasn't too scared. I, I kind of thought he probably was international and wasn't somebody that was in the States. But when he used my kids' names, that's when I, I didn't, I didn't like that very much. But it didn't. I wasn't scared. All right. Well, let, let, let's change gear, shall we? Uh, next minute, you get uh, pushed. I think is the phrase on on social media. You get pushed to follow Alessandro at the side of you, and you realise that the photographs that the catfisher were using were actually the guy that you've been encouraged to follow under his real name. So tell us this situation because this is amazing. I was um, sitting at the gas station pumping gas and just scrolling through Instagram like everybody else does and he had popped up as a suggested user and it was a different profile picture but I could tell I could tell it was him and when I clicked on it I knew that it was his real oh. profile based oh, on the amount of followers he had. <laughs> Two days in a row! <laughs> the, the Dr. One. Scott yesterday, <laughs> and now this dude! <laughs> I mean, I'm just followed <laughs> by blokes with huge, tremendous rigs! <laughs> <laughs> what? Look, look oh at this God. guy! I mean, this is subliminal. All right, I'm going to go to the gym. I get it this morning. <laughs> Crikey. Well, no wonder you were clicking, Nicole. That is a, a lovely picture. But I, I, <laughs> how did you know it was actually him? How did you know he was the real deal this time? I knew it was him because when I opened up his profile, he had about 40,000 followers. And then under his highlights, he had a highlight section that talked about all the fake Instagram pages that were created right. under, under his pictures. So uh, let's bring in Alessandro. Welcome. I know that you've been sat there silent and you've made many of our viewers silent because of your tremendous figure. Yes. Um, but after seeing that picture, <laughs> we, we realise why you've obviously been used uh, by people who do catfish because you're aesthetically pleasing on the eye. But also, what was your initial reaction when Nicole uh, introduced herself to you and told you the situation? So, uh, good morning, everybody, first of all. And uh, it was strange because I received a lot of messages from women. So I was like, oh, let's see what's going on. So I decided to answer back, actually because she messaged me on a private page that I have for fitness. 
So I actually pay more attention. And I was like, yeah, let's reply back. Let's see who she is. So and I asked her, are you real? Because her profile was uh, private, so I couldn't see her picture. Mm -hmm. And you know, being targeted from scammers, I was thinking she could be probably a scam too. So mm -hmm. I asked her, you know, hey, can we voice messages? Can we video call each other? And since then, we, we are here now. And a lot of people have been using your photos, Alessandra. How do you think about that? And that's the practical, that's the reason why I'm here, because I want to show the world what's going on. And it's a six year that my photos are used from scammers all over the world to target women. And I mean, it makes me feel sad, but at the same time, I was like losing hopes that I could do something. Then I met Nicole and we wanted to share the story. You know, we wanted to use this happy ending, but the main reason we are here is to send everybody a message. A message that is uh, being aware that something sketchy can go on on social media and dating apps. And, you know, it's a mix of feelings. And now, um, Nicole, what do your friends say? Uh, obviously, when you go down the beach and Alessandro is stood next to you. <laughs> they think it's kind of wild. They, they can't believe this story. Um, we didn't tell many people until everything came out on the news, so it's been a whirlwind for sure. It's surreal. So you're in this world of, of social media, which it can be very fake. How did you know that your connection was real? I knew just by seeing his real profile, even though I was nervous, I almost felt this sense of calm, like everything was going to be okay, regardless of what the outcome was gonna be. And then obviously when I met him and then I first saw him, oh. <laughs> that's when I knew. Oh. <laughs> Alessandra, is, is that an Italian accent we can hear? What is, that, what is your accent? Yeah, you're right, I'm Italian. 100% Italian. 100% Italian, there you go, Joe. <laughs> yeah, brilliant. And, and... <laughs> 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 I must go to Italy. Um, but, um, oh, I mean, oh, palm <laughs> yes, yes. I'll just um, wait for the catfishes. <laughs> yeah, yeah. Um, but what is um, what what is the future like for you two now? What, what have you got in store? I don't really know what we have in store. We're just taking it day by day. Obviously, we're doing a lot of these types of stories, and we'll see where the future goes. I, I think it's a one of a kind situation. We are a modern kind of relationship. We are uh, actually, we started to know each other like being best friends and now we're here and we share the same goal. We yeah. share the same as prospect in life and we're gonna see. Lovely. So, well, you are a knows? stunning couple and we wish you all the best. Thanks for joining us today, guys. Yeah, ciao. Thank you. Thank you. For Thank, you. Us. Thank you.